For hundreds of years, researchers have been confronted with numerous scientific anomalies. But traditional science is often intolerant of evidence that doesn't fit neatly within accepted frameworks. Because of these prejudices, could we be missing a greater truth about mankind's origins? I think scientists need to look at these things and instead of just dismissing it offhand right away, to be like, wait a second, maybe we are not the first. Maybe another civilization did exist. Perhaps there is an extraterrestrial connection because clearly we have a mystery there and everybody's looking the other way. Glen Rose, Texas. This rural southern town has a population of only 2,500, but may hold one of the most incredible archaeological artifacts ever found. At the Creation Evidence Museum is an ancient hammer known as the London Artifact, named after the central Texas town where it was discovered in 1936. The hammer itself was found in the Travis Formation. It's a concretion of sandstone. And it usually takes about 140 million years for this to form. That would put it at 140 million years old. Mainstream scientists contend that the first modern humans emerged only 200,000 years ago. But if so, how is it possible that such an artifact exists? The hammer was scientifically analyzed in the 1980s by two independent labs, the Creation Science Foundation based in Australia and the Battelle Memorial Laboratory in Columbus, Ohio. Incredibly, both labs concluded that the hammer could indeed be over 100 million years old. Part of the handle actually is starting to go through a process called coalification. It's where you have inorganic material and organic material changing into coal. This is something that just simply can't happen in the span of, say, a hundred years. Like most people saying, oh, this is nothing more than a hammer that was left behind by a would-be prospector from the mid-1800s. In addition to coalification, the handle of the hammer shows signs of petrification. This process of the organic wood being replaced by mineral crystals takes millions of years. Test results concluded that the material on the hammerhead consisted of 96.6% iron, 2.6% chlorine, and less than 1% sulfur. Incredibly, this material contained no carbon to indicate modern manufacturing. When we were making steel for tools, part of the process is to use a blast furnace to remove carbon out of it completely. But we always have about 0.2 to 2% left over. There's always a carbon signature on our steel, but there wasn't any carbon whatsoever that was found in this particular material. This object may be as old as 140 million years. And obviously, that's a crazy proposition if you think that modern-day archaeology suggests that we've only been around for about 10,000 years, you know, creating stuff with our own hands. So this falls into the category of out-of-place artifacts, artifacts that shouldn't exist. If the London Hammer really dates back to over 100 million years, as the data suggests, this find would have to fundamentally reshape our understanding of human development on planet Earth. But ancient astronaut theorists suggest there is another, much more substantial relic of the ancient world that is far older than mainstream archaeologists propose. The Great Pyramid of Giza. <laughs> 